So this works then as uh, accepted to see your way as post session, but uh, I'm just going to give you a, a six to seven minute summary of uh, the actual project for methodologic critique and any other concerns that uh, you guys might have. So just to begin, we're presenting um, the VGH experience for simultaneous kidney pancreas transplantation uh, today. And as you know, demand for renal transplant continues to exceed organ supply and the subset of, uh, of patients with ESRG uh, secondary to diabetes is uh, significant. And uh, they, they, it's been shown that they have higher mortality than uh, chronic renal follow patients without type 1 diabetes. Uh, because of this, there has become the advent of uh, simultaneous kidney pancreas transplantation, which has shown to be both feasible and safe in the, uh, in the current world literature. And um, uh, today I'm going to review the VGH experience with this procedure. So these were patients uh, who were operated on at Vancouver General because it's the only site uh, which performs this operation over a 17 year period. We compared the kidney pancreas transplants with live donor kidney transplants and category kidney uh, transplants over the same time period. Uh, all patients were type 1 diabetics. This is the recipient demographics um, list between the three groups. Some patients kidney pancreas transplants number 73 with live donor uh, in 254 and category numbering in the 600. Uh, these three groups were compared against one another. Uh, there's no significant difference. These are means reported plus or minus 95% confidence intervals. There's no significant difference in terms of age between the three groups, sex or ethnicity. No difference in terms of duration of dialysis prior to transplantation, pre-transplant baseline creatinine clearance, uh, or waiting time, however, uh, Live donor waiting time uh, for transplant was not uh, necessarily reported in the BCCS database. Uh, transplant number was found to be significant, uh, especially greater than a single, trans uh, single transplant. Okay, so that one has been pre-transplant getting clearance, 14.8 plus or minus 1.75 versus the right hand column, 10.1 plus or minus 0.54. That has to be this comparison is mainly uh, between the kidney pancreas and a lot of donors. Because the question that we want to present at the end is okay. specific. But I'll get to that later. Other significant differences between the three groups uh, are the donor age, the total MHC mismatch, cold time, and warm time. The CMV risk is defined as uh, having a recipient which is CMV negative with a positive CMV donor which was uh, not to consume between the three groups or uh, actually not statistically uh, analyzed yet. Uh, and just at the bottom here, we show the pancreas drainage um, operation was uh, changed from uh, bladder drainage to enteric drainage, uh, sometime within our, uh, within our uh, overall time period. The Staplemeyer graph uh, still needs to be updated, but it shows the overall patient survival between the three groups the uh, categoric in yellow, the live donors in the purple, and the uh, something uh, kidney pancreas transplant in the green. And there's no statistically significant difference. The kidney graft survival between the three groups is also not significantly different. Pancreas graft survival capillaries are pending. The reasons for kidney graft failure between the three groups is uh, noted here, and uh, basically uh, all types of uh, reasons are represented essentially between the three groups, uh, taking into account the lower numbers of uh, kidney pancreas. The reasons for pancreas tract failure are also uh, reported here. So it's only 13 uh, pancreas failures at this time. In terms of the quality of the graft following transplantation, this is a 95% creatinine uh, clearance uh, slide with error bars showing that between the three groups, uh, over a five-year period, there's uh, no significant difference. Pancreas graph function is uh, shown here. And as you can see, these are 95% confidence intervals for HbA1c. The uh, pancreas group shown on the bottom in red, they seem to have a tighter uh, blood glucose control versus manual monitoring at, uh, with the single organ transplant group, which is probably as expected. 
in terms of conclusions, um, in terms of the demographic differences between the three groups, we found the major significant factors were the transplant number, the waiting time, the cold and warm time. Uh, most of those, which probably could be explained in terms of the categoric nature of the kidney pancreas and the combined two organ transplant versus single organ transplant. Non significant factors are shown on the right. Patient and kidney graft survivals were similar between the three groups. Kidney graft function was comparable in the two organ versus single organ transplant. And blood sugar level uh, control was significantly uh, improved with the kidney transplant.